What is going on everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look at something brand new and it is the Jurassic World Dino Rivals Dual Attack Nasuto Ceratops. Now this right here, uh, if you watch my Allosaurus one, this wave just popped up all of a sudden. Not much was known about it. It was found last week and it is from a thing called Battle at Big Rock, which has to be that uh, short that Mattel was talking about at the Toy Fair that was going to be before Hobbs and Shaw. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging, which it is pretty standard to what we have been getting for the Dino Rivals line, except we have a blue banner going in the background right there. And then on the bottom of the box, going all the way up like that. Then, of course, you got that as seen in Battle at Big Rock. All right, so we got the Jurassic World logo right there. The black effect going to the red, yellowish orange. Uh, first glance at this, it looks amazing. Uh, I, I love the sculpt. The... Uh, paint job on here looks really well done so let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom of the box for you guys get that out of the way uh, I am not sure that brick seek would work on this right here because you will need the parent skew number for the whole box all right so let's go ahead and take a look at the back so here we have the two other items which is the Brand new Allosaurus sculpt and then the repaint of the Concavenator. And it does come with a card which, as you know, if you watch my videos, I really like in the cards. Alright, so it says it has a tail strike. Looks like it goes side to side. Then we have a head strike which probably is like the regular Triceratops with the head moving up and down. Alright, so let's go ahead and take the Nasuto Ceratops out of the packaging to give you guys a better look. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the card right here of the Nasuto Ceratops. Let it focus. So there we have a nice illustration of her. Looks really cool, looks really big too. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the main attraction, which is the Nasuto Ceratops. Now, first glance right here, guys, like I said, it looks phenomenal. The size, the sculpt, the paint, everything looks really cool on this. So let's go ahead and get a better look for you guys. So there we have the face right there. Now, one thing I noticed looking at pictures online is like the eye, but I assume it's supposed to be painted all black like that. So we have a nice paint job going up right there. I love the blue and the reds. And then we have, I think, uh, some greenish color added in as well. Looks really nice and then some tan right underneath the tail so yeah there we have the green legs then it goes the blue and mixes with green same thing on this and then there we have the tan belly area let's go ahead and get this code if it will let me focus all right, so there is the code. All right. So, I mean, the head does have like a rubbery feel to it. I mean, let me get a shot up here. This bends. So it's a definitely rubber. Uh, this right here also feels rubbery as well, the horns. So, I mean, 
it's not I, I wouldn't say it's the real feel but I mean if you think about it it kind of is so I think Mattel is trying to uh, bring that back I mean we have that soft rubbery good for the Allosaurus that moves around some for the head sculpt the detail on this is phenomenal like I said I mean we have all these ridges on top and then the bull horns which look really nice alright so with the gimmick we have two buttons right here on the back we have this one right here which controls the slashing attack on the tail looks like it only goes this way right here it does not go that way and then we have this one right here which of course is for the head all right so one cool thing about this that I want to point out is we have a double movement in the neck so we have this line right here which is a hinge that makes it move up and down and then right in here it's uh, I want to say it's probably a ball joint so we have this movement and then a really nice side to side I really 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 love that it's uh, kind of making me want to pick up that uh, dual attack Triceratops from Wave 1. Because I have yet to pick that one up because, I mean, I, I was just not too impressed with the first uh, Roar of War Triceratops. I thought it could have been a lot bigger. But yeah, there is the, the pseudo Ceratops, guys. I am going to be bringing in that said Triceratops. From all the way from a year ago for the first wave of the War of Wars. Alright. So. There we have the Nasuto Ceratops with the War of Wars Triceratops. Just look at the size. The Nasuto Ceratops is a lot bigger. And like I said, I don't have the dual attack Triceratops, so... With these two items right here, they are a completely different sculpt. Uh, no retool or anything. So, yeah, if this is a retool from the uh, dual attack, I apologize. I don't have it. But from f what I know right now, it is a total new sculpt. Like, I, 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 I like the movement in the Triceratops head. But, I mean, that was part of the gimmick. But we have that extra movement right here for the Nasuto Ceratops. Really, really cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and do another size comparison for you guys. I will be bringing in the super, super posable Indoraptor. Just so you guys can get an idea of how big the Nasuto Ceratops is. So let's go ahead and take that out and bring in another brand new item, which is the Indominus Rex. So as you can tell, it is really small compared to the Indominus. Alright, so with this being the battle at Big Rock, I definitely have to bring in the Allosaurus that will be featured in the short along with the Nasutoceratops. So just to get a size comparison for you guys right here, two really cool looking dinosaurs. I can't wait to see what this short is going to be. 
I hate to have to go see that Hobbs and Shaw in the theater just to see this, but who knows? All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this review video of the Nasuto Ceratops. Uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to this channel, and if you have not done already, please hit that bell right there to get notified when we post new videos.